So here he is, the legend Mirko Krokop. And I think for a lot of mixed martial arts fans, when they think of head kick knockouts, the first guy to come to mind is that man, Krokop, former Pride World Open Weight Grand Prix champion. And when it comes to the big promotions, UFC Pride, WEC, and Strike Force, no man has more finishes than the fighter you are staring at right now, the ageless Mirko Krokop Filipovich. This guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon. The speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world class. Ah, yes, here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it is just absolutely incredible to watch. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with big differences in height, but a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record now. 27 wins, 7 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko Boka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. All right, so on the Krokop side, what does he do here with this stylistic challenge? I mean, you know physically the gifts and the striking credentials of Amirko Krokop. Oftentimes, his opponents get so hyper-focused on the head kick that they forget about everything else that he brings to the table. All right, first round is underway. You better watch out for the overhands. They will come early, they will come often here tonight. And even when you do your homework, it doesn't mean you can stop it. We'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. That one hurt. Oh, nice right hand. Neither guy really finding their range with much consistency here early. Good defense there. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. 
Yeah, he's getting lit up here. He missed that kick. Well, you're playing with fire there. He left the body wide open there, and he has shown an increased vulnerability to that strike, Joe, by leaning in, almost moving into the strike to set up his own offense. We'll see if he lowers that guard, lowers those elbows to prevent further damage. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Krokop. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Krokop. There's a kick to the body. Huge uppercut misses. Right hand upstairs. Blocks the shot. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Mirko Krokop gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Oh! Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Nice technique on the sidekick. Punch is blocked. Oh, misses with the jab. Krokop gets caught by the inside leg kick. Good punch. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Plus right hand is true, Joe. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Mirko Kruka. Round one winding down here. Nice. They are throwing both sides with conviction. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. And there's a nice head kick that lands. And here's another head kick. And here's one more perfectly placed head kick. Incredible highlights in that round. Spectacular. Your pace, your cardio is fantastic. Keep breathing, stay relaxed, go out there, and let's put the pressure. Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. Here we are, early round two. 
All right, so second round getting underway now. Not a bad first round. Both fighters had their moments. Looked like at times they were just getting warmed up a little bit, perhaps a little bit of a feeling out process over that first minute. What's your thoughts on what we saw there in that first round? Krokop is simply a devastating striker. He has huge power in his punches, and his left high kick is a thing of legend. He has an extremely strong base and some of the best takedown defense in MMA. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. He got tagged there. He missed with that jab attempt there. Krokop's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh! Oh, looking for that uppercut. Almost landed it there. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. Oh, he missed with that right hand. He landed that punch flush. Oh, he missed that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Huge uppercut misses. Ooh, nice roundhouse kick, Joe. That'll work on the highlight reel. Krokop going for the head kick. He misses there. Effective jab there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lands a punch there, Joe. Try to establish that jab. Watch the strike. That one certainly found the target. That one hurt. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Clean with the right hook. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, landed it. Krokop gets caught with that punch. Oh, turning side kick, nicely done. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Just out of range with that right hand. Joe, huge block there, the defense is holding up. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that counter. Just out of range with the uppercut. Nice. Krokop's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Lands the jab. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh! Landing a good series of strikes here. All right, that's the end of round number two.
Let's take a look at some of the action in that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Ariani Celeste doing work as usual. Third round underway. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. These guys are exchanging huge shots. Well, you got to love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round, and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. That's, again, the experience. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Can't connect on the uppercut, Joe. Beautiful jab there by Mirko Kroka. Well, this is live in real time. We didn't hit the replay button. Again, he gets cracked to the head because, again, he's leaning in, almost moving right into his opponent's striking ring. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Missed that shot. Beautiful straight counter. Leg kick attempt now slipped by Lee. Really missed with that right hand. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Just missed with the straight left. Good exchanges from both fighters. Beautiful jab. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. Oh, that head kick landed. Fainting with that kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Slightly deflected. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. The kick gets through. Now mixing one into the body. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Oh, nice inside leg kick right there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. There's a nice inside leg kick. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, Joe. Really starting to pile up when it comes to the body strikes in the latter stages of this fight. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, nice jab by Crocom. Nasty leg kick lands. Nice leg kick. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. All right, one minute to go in round three. Again, going back to the jab just out of range.
45 seconds remain in the round. Nice axe kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. It appears that cut is getting worse. 30 seconds to go now. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Mirko Krokop gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Look at that, he's timing that jab. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. So far, phenomenal performance that we're so privileged to be able to watch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Playing with the inside leg kick. He blocks the shot. Oh, nice jab by Kroka. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. He's got to get that guard up, Joe. Oh, huge block! We show you the total strikes. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that Bear's watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Well, that'll work. Counter jab to the head by Lee. Needs a, a nice right hand. Just misses with the jab there. Getting the hands going here early. And he eats a high one. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just misses with that one. Going to the body there with the right kick. Just over three minutes now to go. These guys are swinging. Then three minutes to go here in round number four. Oh, nice. Just out of range with that right hand. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. that one on the forearm. Side kick. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, he hit him with a big knee. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. There's the body kick. Excellent feint with the kick. 
Nice jab by Lee. Oh, like the thought there, good attempt at a counter, ultimately it's no good. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Lee going for the head kick, no dice. Oh, nice uppercut. Not there. Mirko Krokop gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Front kick by Lee. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Excellent axe kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Clipped him with the jab. Oh, head kick. Excellent head movement. And he lands that side kick. Wow. Tags him. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Ariane Celeste on hand as usual. Catches the leg there, but then lets it go. No harm, no foul. That strike will count. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Kroka. Oh! Oh, great kick to the head there. He hit him with the hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. Such good movement in there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, nice hook there by Lee. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Wow. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Kick. Nice jab by Lee. And he's looking for that left. He blocks the punch. Effective punch there by Mirko Krokop. Very good job of timing these shots here. Krokop gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Oh, nice strike landed there by Krokop. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Under three minutes now to go in this one. Just misses with the jab. Mirko Krokop gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. That one hurt. Kick. Check that one. So clock starting to become a factor here. Just missed with that right hand. 
Nice. Looking to avoid that left hand. Mirko Krokop gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Lands the sidekick now. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. Caught him with a punch. Man, that right eye's really starting to swell up, Joe. Slips. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. He hit him with an axe kick. Very nicely done. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Oh, power kick to the arms. Effective punch there by Lee. Just misses with the straight left hand. There's that head kick. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the kick. He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, he might be out. What a leg kick! Oh, that head kick landed! Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, he got cracked. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. How about that shin? And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, both men exchange. Cut is bleeding like crazy now, Joe. I wouldn't be surprised if they come in and stop this fight. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Final seconds of the fight. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. What a 15 minutes put forth. And here's the end of the fight. Here we see some high-level striking, great accuracy on that punch. And again, here in round two, beautiful technique here. Times that strike perfectly. And round three, another great, accurate shot. And here we are in round four. We see another shot landing right on target. And in the final round, excellent timing again on that strike. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Mirko so Mirko Krokop still getting it done and still getting it done with style points. A lot of people wondered how would he handle this type of matchup. He handled it with flying colors here tonight. And Mirko Krokop still very much a 